Test the autopilot and smart summon take on an obstacle course of cones, humans, foam rollers, and Buddy the Elf. Today we're out here and we're going to be testing Tesla's autopilot system and their smart summon and all of their self-driving features against a giant obstacle course. Maybe giant is a little bit of an exaggeration, but we got a bunch of cones, we got a foam roller, and we got my personal favorite, Buddy the Elf. So we're going to do normal summon, smart summon, and then normal autopilot on a long stretch of road. Camera wise, we got the GoPro up front for when I do the autopilot stuff. Then we got the GoPro 360 on the roof to get those shots of it driving. We also got this camera right here. Then we got another camera inside so you can actually see what's happening on the screen so you know that I'm not lying about this. And then of course we have the Tesla app because that's what's gonna control all of these summon features we're gonna test right now. Now let's do it. It has the options to go forward and reverse, and those are the most basic options to pull out of a garage or something. It's actually fairly useful, but in this case, I don't think it dodges obstacles, so we'll try it out right now. Let's just see it normally. So I click forward, it's coming towards me. It's clearly going like under three miles an hour. I guess we'll see on the camera inside exactly how fast it's actually going, but you know, doing a solid job just coming straight towards me. Now let's do the test of me just standing here. Will it stop? It stopped. I'm still holding the button and it stopped for me. So now I'm gonna click the reverse button. Let's see it go in reverse. And I'll do the same kind of thing, let it go for a second and then create an obstacle, which will be me. Doing a solid job, going straight back. Now I will be the obstacle. Will it hit me? Interesting, it actually stopped a lot further than it did on the front. I don't know what the reasoning is there, maybe the sensors or the rear camera or something, but this is maybe eight feet and it was more like four feet in the front. And now we're gonna try out Smart Summon, so I'm gonna go park this in a spot and show you how it will actually back out of the spot and come to wherever I decide, whatever point in the parking lot. So we parked right here, and now we're gonna Smart Summon all the way over here. So let's try it out, come to me. Here's the sea. Kana's turning towards that pillar, but no. Okay. That looks a little close there, but I can tell that it's fine. It's kind of following the lines. Kinda. But I mean, it's coming straight for me and it knows there's no cars here, which I guess is a success. It is going a lot faster. Or is it gonna stop? Summon complete. I mean, pretty solid. So here's this foam roller, okay. It's a little windy out here. Okay, I'm a, oh man. What if it's on the ground, how about that? Let's see that, because I mean, it would be interesting if it just runs over it or if it sees obstacles that are five inches. Let's go as the foam roller rolls. Uh, now it's a race, it's a race. Who's gonna win, foam roller or car? Wow, the foam roller's winning. It's winning. Okay, foam roller won that one. Stay put, stay put, stay put. You got this. <laughs> Does this have obstacle avoidance in it? I guess. That's cool. Oh, okay. There we go. Ready? Now we go forward. The only obstacle it's going to see is hopefully this foam roller. Yeah. Sees it from about eight feet away. And my thumb is still on there. So it's still trying, but it knows that this is an obstacle, so that's pretty solid. Now, the stand-up foam roller, will it go around it is my question. Nope. Just stops, so that's kind of what I expected. So what I'm gonna do right now is just create a path that it has to take with the slightest amount of turn and see if it'll turn or if it'll just keep this going. Gotta cool down the GoPro because it's like 98 out here and it overheated. It's not 98, it's 107.
So you can see right here, it starts out with a nice easy path, but if it gets to here and doesn't turn, it will definitely run into these cones. Let's see if normal summon turns when I just press forward. I don't think it's even gonna go. Summon failed. Let's try again. Here we go, smart summon. It outsmarted me. <laughs> the car outsmarted my obstacle course. Wait, did it? I was expecting it, okay, it says aborted. Now I'm gonna click go to target again. Oh, it didn't outsmart me, it's trying again. Oh, right in through the cones. Oh no, oh no, no! Okay. So overall, that was pretty hilarious to see it kind of trying to outsmart the thing and then just be like, whatever, I guess I have to do it. And then it went through the cones for a minute, but then it ended up just running over a cone. It might be because these cones are so small, like if that was a two foot tall cone, probably wouldn't have ran it over. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up so that more people can find it and subscribe to this channel for lots more videos like this about the Model Y, Tesla, and tech in general. So after that first attempt, we set up an even bigger obstacle course right here with the cones closer together and a little wider. We even set up Buddy the Elf at the end and then we got shut down by campus security. I'm uh, just filming a little video. Yeah, we can't do that. Oh, we can't? Well, we got shut down at this place, so we're going to try to go find another parking lot. But we weren't going to let that stop us, so we went to a nearby park and set up that Smart Summon obstacle course. So we got this little windy path. It's definitely wide enough, but then it does get a little tough at the end there. And it's just a quick turn, and I'll be standing at the end there, so really the only path for Smart Summon that this could successfully take is the path that I made. I want to see if it will do it, and then at the end I'll have Buddy the Elf but it's extremely windy, so he's probably just gonna fall over. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. So I want Buddy to be the final obstacle and see if it recognizes him as a pedestrian, but... So we'll just have Buddy laying down. Buddy is in place, and I am at the end, so when I say come to me, it's gonna try to come here. Really, this is the only viable path unless it decides to hit some cones, so let's go. Come to me. Backing up. Backing up, backing up, oh, nope, realized it's gotta go for it. How's it going? Going a little quick for my taste. It's taking the turn. No, no, okay. It figured out that it's cones. Maybe it'll stop for Buddy. If I move over here, will it come to me here? Is it that accurate? It, this is too smart for me. It just went over the cones because it realized it could actually just run over them and it wouldn't harm the car at all. All right, we're gonna do a second attempt here. Once again, come to me. Let's see how the Tesla does. Here we go. It's weird that it always wants to, oh, never mind. I was gonna say it goes into reverse, but this time it didn't. Ah, uh, disconnected from vehicle. Third attempt, I guess, backing up. Now it's soon gonna realize this is the only path. All right, so it's handling the first turn. Going around the first turn very smoothly. Abrupt stop. And, oh. Ah, same. Totally, totally ate a couple cones. Now I'm gonna come over here, see if it'll at least dodge Buddy. No! Buddy! Buddy! So Smart Summon with these tiny cones has failed. I assume that with bigger cones it would have worked, but again, we don't have that budget here at Ryan Shaw Tech. But I am still curious if it maybe only hit the corner because it was the corner of the car with Buddy, and if I want to do Smart Summon straight and have Buddy right in the path, will it kill Buddy? It's dodging Buddy! No! Buddy! <gasps> Paul! Are you all right? He looks pretty happy, honestly. He seems pretty content with his situation. 
Elon, what the heck, man? You killed Buddy. Just to be clear, I'm joking. This is ridiculous. So with autopilot, it's pretty much impossible to just set up an obstacle course anywhere and expect autopilot to do it. You can do it with smart summon, but autopilot will only pop up on certain streets. It's not just everywhere you ever want to put it up. So right now I'm going to set up my same cones on a street and see how autopilot handles them. I'm just going to make a simple merge where it's going to force me into the other lane. And normally autopilot can handle construction sites pretty well. So in this case, it's kind of a test of my cones. Like does autopilot care about my tiny cones? Even if they show up on screen, will it run over them or will it treat it as a merge? All right, so here we go, turning around and autopilot pops up. I'll bring it up to 15 miles an hour, see what happens. They're pretty obviously cones, but they're very small. So, nope, nothing. Nothing even. Oh, there they are. So maybe it would have avoided them if I didn't get out of autopilot. So this time I'm going to try it. I'm going to go 10 miles an hour. Okay. Nothing yet. I'm about 10 feet away. So I think they're, oh, there they are. There they are, but it doesn't care. Ah! Okay. <laughs> it just ran over all of these cones. Yeah. I guess my cones are the problem with this experiment and next time I will buy better cones. So first I just want to see if the visualizations on screen will recognize Buddy. Now my wife is standing right behind him, which may be assisting in this, but let's see. Oh yeah, it already sees him. Also it sees cones. Those must be from memory. That's very odd because I removed the cones. The cones are no longer there. You see right here, but it remembers those cones. Let's see now that I've driven a little further away. Does it remember them? It does. That's super interesting actually. And then totally sees Buddy. So if I get up close, sees Buddy, knows I should avoid him, no problem. So now we're gonna have my wife go next to Buddy. It does see two separate people. So that is very interesting. It sees Buddy as a person, recognizes him. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go really slow and my wife is gonna run out of the way. It's a little windy. I don't have a great way to hold Buddy the Elf up. So if he falls, we'll just fall and do it again and do it until he's standing up. Okay, let's go. Okay, autopilot, 10 miles an hour. It sees Buddy, disappeared. There he is. So it is slowing down. It's going nine, should be going 10, eight. So it sees him and it's avoiding him. Now my wife has ran. Oh, Buddy fell. And now it's just like, okay, he's gone. I'm gonna run him over. So it's cardboard. I guess it would have just run over him and not had any harm. Let's give it another go. Hopefully he'll stay up with the wind. Slowing down for him once again. You can also see clearly on screen Jessica getting out of the way and it continues to see Buddy in the street. But now, oh no, no Buddy, Buddy, oh! Okay, it ran him over, it ran him over because he fell over. There he goes, oh no, okay. And it's just gonna run straight, uh, straight over Buddy. Uh, poor guy. So as we saw today, autopilot and smart summon are cool features, but they do not care about my tiny little cones. They also don't care about Buddy the Elf once he falls over. If he's standing up, it treats him just like a person, just like the rest of us. And after all, isn't that what Buddy really is? Just one of us. So in the future, hopefully when I have a bigger budget, I could get some real cones and I can test this, but it is pretty limited right now how you can do an obstacle course with autopilot because it has to be on an actual street and you never can really just throw cones onto a street that people are gonna be driving on. So there you have it. Leave a comment below to let me know if you think those cones were at fault or if maybe autopilot should have actually avoided those. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up so that more people can find it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for lots more videos like this and about Tesla and tech in general. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ryan Shaw Tech. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.